this year as well. <laughs> but you look at the experience right through this Slovan Bratislava team. They won't be phased by anything coming here. You look at what Vladimir Weiss has done coming back in for his second spell as manager, bringing in some uh, seriously experienced players. We look at their 11 in a moment. This is the Rovers one. As we said, three changes from the first leg in Bratislava. Out go Sean Gannon, Sean Horn, Aaron Green, replaced by Joey O'Brien, Danny Mandrew and Graham Burr. Captain Ronan Finn. We think set to revert to that wing-back role. Finn was part of that Rovers side that broke new ground for Irish club football 10 years ago now when coming through that nerve-jangling night in Belgrade. Tonight he makes his 43rd European club appearance. Interesting to see him bring in the likes of Goram Kashia, Yaba Kankova, oh, both pushing on 100 caps for Georgia. But in at Slovan this year, here goes Medvedev. Works it through to Henty, who gets his shot away. And man is well positioned. The thrower. Now from Vice, the caps to play it forward. Lopez trying here. to meet it. Now he's been caught out. He's trying to get back. Henty has Rinchar to his right. Henty into the penalty area, takes it on. And right behind that one, and he's past 18 months or so. Another Rovers throw in deep in Slovan territory. O'Neill. Lovely ball forward towards Burke, who looked to take it with him. He's been taken down. Graham Burke it was a fabulous first touch to take him away from Boshikov. Great ball in from Gary O'Neill. And here's an opportunity, 15 minutes in for Shamrock Rovers. Bemians, Waterford, Drogheda. He scored against them all from 12 yards this season. What a moment this now for Shamrock Rovers. Quarter of an hour in Atala. And Burke sends the goalkeeper the wrong way. It's the ideal start for Shamrock Rovers. Beautifully dispatched by Graham Burke, who scores in Europe again. And now the tie, very, very much alive. Yeah, it's all it's game on now. It's a wonderful penalty. He just wraps his foot round at the last minute. The keeper goes early, makes Burke's mind up, and then he can just reverse into the far corner. But again, now Vice, his dander up, is driving on here, looking mm. to work something off Henty. Here is the camps from a long way out. Good oh. strike, Omanis, and the header, Omanis saves oh. again to deny Rinchar. Danger still there with Medvedev who gets to the end line and Liam Scales concedes the corner. Headed forward by Borshikov. Alan O'Brien with a decision to make, back to Alan Manis. Ooh, he's tried to roll it out to Richie Tell. Henty has picked it up inside the penalty area. Looking to get his shot away, flicks off Joey O'Brien. Well. And just didn't fall. And tried to squeeze infield. Yeah, and then Bork occupies the fullback on that side, so he can't, can't do both. Oh, Scales is away here. Decision time for Liam Scales. Wanted it on his left, couldn't get his shot away. Good work by Kasia to keep him on his right. Force him in field, but it breaks back for Scales again. Gets his head up, whips it across, Graham Burke. Sets one up here, Ronan Finn. Draws the save from Chova. Excellent period in the game, this for Shamrock Rovers, using the ball so intelligently. That's his final warm-up game before the Euros. Gaffney. That's his way in field. Fabulous ball. Shooting chance. Richie Tao. Oh, what a goal. Richie Tao with his first goal for Shamrock Rovers. And it is an absolute cracker. 2 0 on the night. 2 2 on aggregate. It was all going one way in this second half. And crucially, Shamrock Rovers get that second goal. It's a wonderful strike. He takes it on his left foot, bobbles a little bit, and then he absolutely unleashes a rocket into the... So the job was done. Now Lee Grace. And Tao has the pace to get there. Grace has managed to hold him up. Support arriving. It's Kankova. Takes the shot on to flex off Liam Scales. And did... Vice takes over. Chavrich as well to dig it out. Force made for Dev a little bit wide here, only oh, three in the needs penalty to get area. Back in at the back post. Vice crossing angle. Takes it in for the run of Ratao, who cleverly has got across Lopez here and squares it across. And Kankava won't come for him. Might come oh. here. Oh, just wide from DeMarco. You yeah. might need to actually have to make fouls later on in the game if they're trying to counter attack us. Yeah, that's a that body in. Has to be made. Is that foul by Hetao as Lopez went down? Here's an opportunity. And Vice ball. cutting back inside. Going the long way around here, and he's buried it. Vladimir Vice. Oh, Shamrock Rovers furious feeling there was a foul on Roberto Lopez. Richie Tao has been booked for leading the protests. Management. The he ball in towards Lopez, who attacked it with relish, and he's in there again. Lopez, all oh, clawed away by Chova. Came on it as well, and I was laughing, saying he's going to play. 
I was, honestly. Ball in from Sean Hall. Oh. Great ball as well. And Aaron Green with the flicked header. And had it not taken the touch off Medvedev, who knows where that one was going. Oh, Shamrock Rovers. It's a good run from Hall across the front post. And it takes it, it with oh. oh, Liam Scales heads it over. And they've done it in stoppage time on so many occasions this season. I think sure of Dylan been. Watts for Danny Mandrew up at United Park in Drogheda. Yeah. It's a similar angle. It's a great ball. It's a great ball in. Oh. And just the touch wasn't the touch. In a spell and in that spell they scored. I know you mentioned that they struggled. Rovers have cut, struggled to keep clean sheets at home. And I think that's what's caused them ultimately in the game tonight. Well, it's such a disappointing evening to such a huge, valiant, brave, courageous, positive performance from Shamrock Rovers. Ultimately, it's a win on the night, but it is not enough. Thanks to that goal from Vladimir Weiss.